Hi everyone, let's focus on the last subtopic of job interview, that is, interview questions. Basically, there are three types of interview questions. The first one is traditional questions. Traditional questions involve with a series of questions which typically have straightforward answers. Here, candidates will be asked questions about, tell me about yourself. Why are you the best person for this position? What is your greatest strength? What accomplishment are you most proud of? Describe a typical work week. Or even, what did you see yourself in five years from now? The second type of interview questions is behavioral questions. Among the questions that will be asked to the candidates are, give an example of an occasion where you use logic to solve a problem. Give an example of a goal you reach and tell me how you achieve it. Describe a decision you made that was unpopular and how you handle implementing it. Have you gone above and beyond the call of duty? If so, how? What did you do when your schedule is interrupted? Give an example of how you handle it. Have you had to convince a team to work on a project they were not thrilled about it? How did you do it? Have you handled a situation that is very difficult with a co-worker? How? Tell me about how you work effectively under pressure. And finally, the last type of job interview questions is situational questions. Here, candidates are asked about what may happen at, on a job. You are asked to assess the situation and provide solution on how to handle it. In many cases, Situation-based interview questions involved with problem-solving skills and handling difficult situations or even circumstances in workplace. Hence, you'll be asked questions. For instance, what problems have you encountered at work? Describe how you dealt with them. If you know your boss is 100% wrong about something, how will you handle it? Describe one or a difficult work situation or even a project and how you overcome it. Describe a challenge or problem you face. How did you handle it? Describe a time when your work overload was heavy and how you handled it. So class, today I will reveal 10 most commonly asked questions during job interview and how you are going to ace it by following these tips. The first question. Tell me about yourself. As for this question, you need to mention your key achievements and details about it. You can always respond to the question by saying, My background to date has been centered around preparing myself to become the very best mechatronic engineer I can become. Let me tell you specifically how I prepared myself. Then, you mention your key achievement and details about it. How about the second question? What is your greatest strength? As for this question, you need to mention your uppermost strength or skills and give examples or details about it. How about the third question? Can you describe a situation in your past where you learned from a mistake? So how you're going to ace this question? First, you need to describe the situation where you have conducted or commit, committed a mistake. Then, discuss the action that you took to overcome it. Not only that, you need to mention what is the outcome after the actions that you took and specify what you have learned from your mistake. Next question. What is the most difficult situation you have ever faced? So as for this question, you need to choose a tough situation that you manage to resolve successfully. Reveal as many good qualities as possible. Because the qualities that will be evaluated, for instance, perseverance, good judgment, maturity, will be evaluated by your interviewer 
based on interviewees' responses during job interview. The following question, is there anything that you would like to improve about yourself? In order to answer this question, you need to share, willing to share your weaknesses. Not only that, you need to mention what are your efforts in dealing with it. For instance, you can always answer this question by mentioning, I would say my greatest weakness has been my lack of proper planning in the past. I will overcome it myself with too many variant tasks, then not be able to fully accomplish each as I would like. However, since I have come to recognize that weakness, I've taken steps to correct it. For example, I now carry a planning calendar in my pocket so that I can plan all my appointments and to-do items. Here, let me show you how I have this week planned out. If you are being asked questions such as what is the most important thing that you are looking for in the job, you need to figure out what did you want in the job. Perhaps you are looking for value challenge in that particular position or even good working environment. You can always opt for friendly co-workers if you want to have that element in your future workplace. Then later on explain why this element or this reason is important to you. The seventh question, what are your career goals? Be a growth-oriented person, but make sure you have realistic expectation. Indicate your future plans, goals, goals that are capable to meet the company's need. Show your initiative and planning in order to pursue for it. You can always answer the question by mentioning, although it is certainly difficult to predict things far into the future, I know what direction I want to develop to it. Within five years, I would like to become the very best mechatronic engineer your company has. I would like to become the expert that others rely upon. And in doing so, I feel I will be fully prepared to take on any greater responsibilities that might be presented in the long term. The eighth question, what motivates you? It can be challenge, it can be creativity, it can be success opportunity or even personal growth. You need to mention your specific skills that you are motivated to use in order to answer this question. For example, problem-solving skills, decision-making, listening skills, writing skills, speaking, planning, or even counseling people. Next question, why would you like to work for us? Your response can linger around challenge, creativity, success, opportunity, and personal growth. You need to highlight your best-selling points or even credibility. For example, problem solving, decision making, listening, writing, speaking, planning, counseling people. Because I sincerely believe that I'm the best person for the job, I realize that there are many other college students that have the ability to do this job. I also have that ability, but also bring an additional quality that makes me the very best person for the job, my attitude for excellence. Not just giving lip service for excellence, sorry, not just giving lip service to excellence, but putting every part of myself into achieving it in which area and what area. I have consistently reached for becoming the very best I can become by doing the following, then you may read it. And finally, the last question. Any questions so far? This is a tricky question given by the interviewer. Here, you need to ask intelligent questions, perhaps about the organization, development opportunities, career growth, potential for success. Because you want to show your preparation, you want to show that you have conducted your research and you have keen interest towards the organization to the respective interviewer. So, we are done with our lecture and it's time for you to complete your tutorial task. 
we are going to have mock interview. Let's have a mock interview session. Pretend that you are attending a job interview. Record your interview session by answering the following questions. First, tell me about yourself. Second, in brief, describe your education background. Third, what has been your greatest achievement so far? Fourth, how do you think you can contribute to our company as an intern? And the last question, give an example of an occasion where you use logic to solve a problem. Upload your recorded video in YouTube, but make sure you need to make it public and share the link in Google Classroom. All the best! See you in the next lesson. Bye!